Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2022 Honda Pilot, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure uh, this hitch is gonna work for you. When it comes to the Honda Pilot, these are really capable SUVs and so people use them to do a lot of different things, whether it be throwing on a bike rack uh, to go hit the trails, maybe putting a cargo carrier on um, when you're on a road trip, going on vacation, something like that, or even pulling a trailer around. So having a hitch back here is really gonna open up your opportunities on what you can do with your pilot. And so if it were me and I was looking for a hitch, I'd want one uh, that would be really versatile and can handle all those things. And the Kurt setup here is going to do just that. I do just wanna address a couple of the big questions that we get asked quite a bit. One of them being, is your hands-free liftgate assist feature still gonna work with the hitch on? And in our case, we have that feature so we can show you. It will still work. You're just gonna have to kick your foot to either side of the hitch and the hatch will open up like it should. Another thing I want to address is spare tire fitment. And uh, what I'm getting ready to say is really going to only apply to a select few of you. And that is, you know, is the spare tire gonna fit back up underneath the vehicle with the hitch in place? And the only way it won't is if you happen to have a full size spare tire. Um, I feel like those are pretty rare. We get a lot of these pilots in and I've yet to come across one. So I feel like uh, there might be a few out there floating around, but chances are really good. That's something you're not gonna have to worry about. Uh, if you have the kind of regular type spare or donut, a lot of people know them as, uh, the hitch is gonna work with those and you're gonna be able to put them up right underneath uh, like ours uh, was able to do today. So with this being a class three hitch, it is gonna have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. Really common size, ton of different things are gonna work with it. At the end, there's a reinforced collar for a little bit of extra support. And it is going to use that standard 5 8 pin and clip. Keep in mind though, pin and clip does not come included. If you need one, not really a big deal. You can always grab it right here at E-Trailer. The safety chain openings are going to be a loop style and they're gonna provide us with enough space to use just about any size hook that our trailer might have. If you do plan on doing some towing, uh, you're gonna want the lights to work on your trailer. You know, that way people around you'll know what's going on and you'll be safe and legal. And to accomplish that, you can always pick up some trailer wiring. We do carry the four-way flat type wiring as well as the seven-way round. So regardless on what you need, uh, we'll get you covered. Now we'll just go ahead and take a couple of measurements. That way we can figure out what type of accessories are gonna work best. If you go from the ground to the top and side edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be right at 15 inches. So when you are towing, chances are pretty good. You can use a ball mount that has a straight shank. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the very edge of our rear bumper, that's going to be about five inches. And you can use that measurement to help figure out that if any folding type accessories you might have can be stored in that upright position without hitting the back of your pilot. Just to compare this hitch to some of the others, uh, to be honest, they're all very similar in terms of how they're gonna perform, what you can do with them, um, even all the questions that we just answered, the big questions, uh, those answers are gonna apply to the other hitches as well. So really the main difference, at least in my opinion, is this gonna be the appearance, so uh, the way the hitch is gonna look. So got a few different options there, and you, know, you can grab the one that you like the best. Uh, other than that, though, at the end of the day, I mean, this is one you really can't go wrong with. As far as the installation is concerned, really not bad at all. Essentially, uh, you lower your spare tire down, lift the hitch up and bolt it right into place. So it really shouldn't give you too many issues or take up a bunch of your time. But if you'd like to see how that's done, feel free to uh, hang around. We'll go ahead, pull into the garage and put the hitch on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the back of our Honda, and the first thing we need to do is lower our spare tire. That way it'll give us a lot of extra room to work when we go to put our hitch up. So if you open this up, uh, we're gonna have a spare tire access uh, right there. And I'm actually using our factory tools. These are located right in there. So got them out and ready, but with this you can take 
screwdriver or something, pop that up, rubber cap, pop that up, and then we're able to get our tool on there and temporarily lower and remove our tire. Now underneath the vehicle, we can go over our attachment points and uh, anything we do from this point on, we're also gonna do to the other side because it'll be set up the exact same way. But if we look at the bottom of our frame rail, we're gonna have three factory weld nuts and those are what we're gonna use to bolt the hitch up. With that said though, I do suggest cleaning the threads out. So I sprayed some penetrating oil up there and I'm just gonna use a two brush to kind of clean out any uh, junk or dirt that may be inside. So before we put our hitch up, I just want to go over the hardware that we're going to be using. So you're going to have a bolt and a conical tooth washer. Make sure when you put the washer on to do it like this, that way the teeth will face up towards the hitch. And so when we're holding our hitch up, we're simply going to line the holes up in the hitch with our attachment points and then simply just thread the bolts right in. Now at the next set of hands, we can take our hitch and raise it into position. Just like we talked about, we'll line up all the holes and we'll take our hardware. And we wanna get at least one started on each side, hand tight, that way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the bolts. With the Hitch supporting itself, we'll get the rest of our bolts started. And then what you can do is center the hitch so you can push it from side to side. Ours is pretty much dead square in the middle, so we're, we're good to go there. But with all the hardware in place and hand tight, we can come back with a 22 millimeter socket and snug it all down. Now we need to make sure and come back with a torque wrench and tighten all of the bolts down to the amount specified in the instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can always grab one here at E-Trailer, or a lot of times if you go to your local auto parts store, they'll have one there uh, available to rent. At this point now, what we can do is simply just raise our spare tire back into position the opposite way that we removed it. And once we get it all the way up, as you can see, our spare is gonna fit into place just like it should. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2022 Honda Pilot.